Now let's talk about how to fold propellers in VSP. Under the More tab, you'll find the folding box, and that gives you access to parameters such as like the folding angle, the radial and axial and offset positions uh, relative to the total radius of the propeller, and then your two pointing directions, the azimuth and elevation. And we'll get into those into a separate video. For right now, let's take a look at how to position the hinge itself relative to the propeller. Now, the radial position is simply the length or the placement along the radial direction in the propeller. So you can see that we can bring this all the way in to the zero location and then bring it farther out. In this case, we can set it to 0.2 right at where the root is located for this propeller. Now, notice we have several arrows here that are designating a few things going on on the propeller. This, as a reminder, is the thrust direction. This is the direction of rotation. And then this line is the hinge axis and this direction that you see here is the direction of fold. So if I were to come in here and give this say 60 degrees of fold, you can see that it's rotating about this axis and pushing everything back. Let's bring that back to zero and take a closer look at what the axial and offset do. So axial is effectively moving fore and aft along the direction of thrust. So if we jump to a top view here and take a look at the hinge axis, if we give it positive axial, it's moving this hinge aft. If we give it negative, it moves it forward. Similarly, we can set some offset. From the front view, we can see that positive offset moves it upward and negative offset will move it down. So that's how you can go about placing your hinge in certain locations. And this is slightly different than how to orient the hinge in space. So let's say, for example, we wanted to set, again, that uh, angle to, let's say, 90 degrees this time. So now what we've done is we, we've taken all of our blades and pointed them directly aft. And you can see that it's rotating about that point on the propeller. Let's watch what happens as we change this radial over our position. As we scoot it in, you can see that now it's folding about a position not necessarily on the propeller blade itself. So what was here is now rotating back around and coming here, and the blades are now much closer together. So depending on how you want these to fold or stow, the position of the hinge has a great deal to do with the final configuration. So if you want to go really deep into the nuts and bolts of what's going on here, you can pick up a dynamics book or anything that has to do with transformation or rotation of frames and you'll get your head around how to make this really work for you. But for the time being, let's go ahead and back out of how to position these, and in another video, we're going to talk about how to orient your hinge.